Alright, I'm Shug, and it's been a while since I made a tool review video, and that's because I have been avoiding parts aid tools like the plague. And, uh, well, let's just say I have enough tools at this moment in time where it's a bit of an issue. Anyway, that did not stop me adding to my toolkit by getting myself a little iFixit. I need to work out how to say that. Minnow. Because it's a double N. Minnow. Minnow. Minnow set. Precision bit set pocket sized for the on the go repair. Now, I need to say the actual uh, box so far is looking like this is going to provide me with a very pleasant open box experience. Let's get into it. What I'm liking about this here is it's got a lifetime guarantee. I assume that means as long as you keep your receipt for it. Uh, but I see this stuff everywhere right now and it looks like it's pretty damn good quality. Let's find out exactly what's in the packet. Hey, baby girl. Hey. Right, so getting into the packet, let's find out. I just took the tab off it right there. Is it really feeling good? This feels much better than my headphone unboxing, I'll tell you that. Oh, sticker. Sticker. I like a sticker. Oh, is that a magnetic holder? Oh, this is nice. This is real. Oh, I don't know about that though. I'd prefer that, prefer that to have been attached. Oh, it's magnetic though. Hmm. Does this ratchet? No, it does not ratchet. Now that was the one thing that I was hoping it was going to do, but it's not that one. But as you probably know, there is obviously a model that does that, like the LTT one. It doesn't ratchet, but it does have a fine precision end. Oh, do you know what? These are absolutely epic. Um, hold on. They're a bit long. They're a bit long. If you've got giant hands, if you've got big gigantor hands, uh, these will feel great. So these are really made for Americans. For us little Europeans with our tiny wee hands, it's a bit kind of a strange fit, but I mean, it's still fine. Yeah, the quality of this is really nice. This is probably worth every penny, by the way, especially with that guarantee on it as well. Just for the free sticker, it's worth it to be honest, isn't it? So these are really for telephones, controls, and doing fine repairs and that kind of stuff, glasses and stuff like that as well. So this is also the cheapest set that they do. And now that I've got the cheapest set that they do, I think I'm going to be happy to invest in the more expensive stuff that they've got. I fix it. Seems to be probably worth it. Now, if it is way more expensive than than a Vera or a whatever German brand, then I would maybe have a wee debate about it. But in terms of an actual on-the-go little pocket kit, yeah, this is mint. Sold. Hi there, Ken. This is a an eye fix it review. Oh, you're very cute. I know that, but I need to finish this video. If you wouldn't mind, Ken, jump. So then. We've had this, or I've had this little iFixit kit. This is a very basic, kind of 20 odd quid iFixit toolkit, pocket on the go number. I like this. I am absolutely sold. To start with, I was a bit skeptical about the quality of it, but the fact that it comes with a lifetime warranty uh, says quite a lot about it. So I've used these and I've really put them through quite a lot of abuse, um, and none of these look damaged at all. They don't even look scratched which I'm absolutely amazed about. I do not understand how that's possible because um, they, they don't look necessarily the highest quality, but none of them, I mean, I've not used them all, but certainly the ones that I have used don't look necessarily damaged. Even the wee security one doesn't look damaged in any way, shape or form. But also the bit, driver bit itself, there's no hang ups on it. Sometimes you, you kind of feel like this knurls at the top and digs into your skin. Well, it doesn't. It feels really, really good. As I said, though, it does feel like it's made for people with giant hands. So it definitely feels like it's made for the more the American market. It's definitely not a Japanese precision set. It's a very different kettle of fish. But it feels good. And I genuinely feel like I've got value for money from it, to be quite honest with you. The iFixit stuff, for what it is, I've got no issues with spending a bit more money and having them just as a separate little kit. The, uh, the little magnet enclosure is also quite nice. It's not it's not the porn, it's not the unboxing porn I was expecting, but for what it is, it's a really, really, really high quality box. 
<laughs> Sometimes when you've got sweaty hands, it's a bad luck. Um, the only thing I suggest though is I don't think that this is necessarily electrical certified, although the handle is completely plastic. I see no um, uh, voltage rating on it. Whoever it is designed for fixing electronics, so mm, yeah, your call on there. Either way though, absolutely magic. Quality of it itself is tip top, and I would definitely, definitely buy more stuff from iFixit. I'm very surprised, but I genuinely would. So, another one done.